Hi, let me show you how to make multicolored fluorescent carbon quantum dots and separate them by paper chromatography. We'll use citric acid and formamide for the synthesis. First, weigh out about 0.3 grams of citric acid and put it in a glass test tube. Then use a pipette to add 4 drops of formamide, just enough to moisten all the citric acid. Carefully shake the mixture, the acid does not dissolve entirely, but that's ok. Heat the mixture at full power in a household microwave oven. Bubbles of carbon dioxide are caused by decarboxylation of citric acid in the reaction mixture. In about 2-3 to three minutes, when the gas evolution is essentially over, stop the heating and let the reaction to cool down to room temperature. The solid reaction mixture doesn't have any visible fluorescence. Add about 10 ml of deionized water to the test tube. The fluorescence appears to be yellow or green depending on the angle of illumination. Resuspend the carbon quantum dots with help of a spatula or skewer by scraping off the solid that is stuck to the bottom of the tube. The concentrated solution has only faint green fluorescence. Use a pencil to draw a starting line 2 cm from the edge of a filter paper cut to 6 by 15 cm rectangle. We will load two different samples of carbon quantum dots for chromatographic analysis. The ones we just made from citric acid and formamide, and the others from citric acid and urea which were made in a separate video. Add just enough distilled water to completely cover the bottom of 250 ml beaker. Fold the top part of the paper and use a wooden skewer to hang it in the beaker, with the bottom edge just immersed in water. Observe the development of the chromatograms under UV light with wavelength around 395 nanometers. In reality, the colors of the spots are much more vivid and shiny, which I found impossible to reproduce accurately in any video so far. Developing of the chromatograms takes about 15 minutes. The developed chromatograms show that the carbon quantum dots from citric acid and formamide on the left have blue, red, green and purple color. The black spot on the start is from carbonized reaction byproducts. The carbon quantum dots from citric acid and urea on the right are mainly yellow with a smaller fraction of blue. These chromatograms are good enough for small-scale preparative work. The desired spot is cut out from the chromatogram and the carbon quantum dots are eluted with minimal amount of water. And finally, here is how the two different types of carbon quantum dots look like when they are diluted in water. If you like this video, please visit my channel where you will find a wide variety of interesting experiments. Thanks for watching.